Giants at Vikings preview. Now, the first game, you the Vikings exactly won 27 to 24. You know, looking at the Giants, you know, they're getting healthy at the right time, right? You have Xavier McKinney, Adoria Jackson, they're back. Oh. And it feels like the Vikings are getting unhealthy at the wrong time. Brian O'Neill is not playing. He injured his Achilles. Bradbury, their center, was limited. They might be on their third string center at this point. And I come down and ask myself this question, can the Vikings slow down the Giants' pass rush? I think it's going to be very hard. You know, I do. The Giants' front four is elite. Kayvon, Lawrence, Williams, Uh, Ojalari. And, you know, I look at the Giants, and this is a very... No, we don't need this. A very tough matchup. Big switch. You know, I I actually want to get your guys' picks first before I get my my pick. No, although you did just kind of give your whole breakdown. No, because he He could. could, I was going to say, the bait and switch, I I feel it. I feel it on my bones. I want to pass. I want to pass to you. I know where I am. I'm going to pass to you. Where are you, Joe? Hey, hey, I'm passing to you. I want to hear (laughs) want to. I want to know (laughs) which where he's going. Come on. Are you going with the New York football Giants? He's sticking with the G-Men. I said it all season long, mostly towards this back end, of course, when the, the Giants got hot when everyone thought they they wouldn't. They'd fall off, me included. I thought the injuries were going to be to their detriment, and they just continued to play better and better each week. On the road, I think the Giants are a better football team than they are at home, and it has to do with MetLife and those New York fans, truthfully. They're cutthroat. I don't even like to be in the stands when I'm watching a, a Giants or a Jets game because the fans can be so brutal to their players, really. But when it comes to playing on the road, and we saw it on display when they played the Vikings earlier, let me not say earlier, a couple weeks ago, and, and Greg Joseph lines up for a 61-yard game-winning field goal, when people didn't even think the game would be that close, it speaks to how good of a football team the Giants are, not only on the road, but just in general. And how well Daniel Jones has progressed this season. Of course, we're going to talk about Brian Dable later when we talk about our coach of the year. At least I will. But you you cannot look at the success of the Giants and not look at Daniel Jones and not look at Saquon Barkley. And, of course, you mentioned it on the the defensive side of things in the pass rush. Kayvon Thibodeau has just come alive in the second half of this season. If he wasn't injured to start the season, he probably would be the leader to be defensive rookie of the year. Honestly, that's how I feel, how dominant he's been of these last couple of weeks. You have Kayvon Dexter, who was just named to the, the players. Or Dexter Lawrence. No, Dexter Lawrence right now. Dexter Lawrence. Kayvon Dexter. Oh, did I? Yeah. Kayvon and Dexter. I apologize. Yeah. Uh, Dexter Lawrence, who was just voted by the players uh, all pro at the nose tackle. Uh, and you mentioned it. They're going to be on their third string center at, right at this point. Dexter's going to have a field day. This this pass rush is going to have a field day getting to the quarterback. And that turns the ball over to Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley. And when it comes to a team running out the clock, there are very few that can do it as well as the Giants. Daniel Jones, one of the best rushing quarterbacks in the league. I don't care if you don't like that statement. It's a fact. Saquon Barkley, arguably the best running back in the league. This team can milk a lot of clock and beat the Vikings, and I believe they will beat the Vikings. I'm going with the with the upset here. I think it's going to be the Is this really one. an upset? According to Vegas, three point. I think it's going to be the most. It's basically, they're home, so they get three. I think it's going to be a fantastic game. I'm going 27, 24, New York Giants. How was the score of the original game? Was it actually? Yeah. Bizarre. Good. What Where about you, you Des? I'm curious. Oh, I'm actually curious about, about you, Des. Um, another one of these games I've been going back and forth on. Not as much as the Chargers yeah. Jacks, but we're going back and forth on. For me, these two teams seem pretty similar. I mean, they've been in a bunch of one score games. The Vikings have been in 11 one score games. They have won all 11 of them. The Giants have been in 13 one score games. They have won eight of them. These are two teams that are used to playing in tight games, competitive games where one mistake can make or break it, where, you know, one the fumble goes one way or the other, the ball bounces one way or the other, and that really ends up being, you know, the sign factor in the winner loss. The fact that the Vikings have won all 11 one score games, it has to come to an end at some point, right? It can't last forever that you win all of these one score games that everything just happens to go your way at the right time. Justin Jefferson makes this ridiculous one hand catch 20 yards down the field to go on to beat the Buffalo Bills. All the weird shit that's happened to this Vikings team. Go. For the Giants, I want to say it's a two man show with Saquon and Daniel Jones, but I'd be lying. 
it's been Tangle Jones. The last two months of the season, Saquon hasn't had over 100 rushing and receiving yards. I can't believe you. My brother. He hasn't. My brother. As much as, I, as much as shit as I give Daniel Jones, as much as I've hesitated to give him $30-plus million, it's been him running this offense. Saquon has not had never, 100 rushing-plus receiving yards. It shocked me. Except two, two times in the last two months. Over these last eight games, it's happened two times. That goes to show you how much Daniel Jones has progressed, how much Brian Dable has really built this offense around him. And while they don't have a lot of explosive plays down the field, I think I think Daniel Jones has like seven big-time throws on the season. They don't really push the ball down the field a lot. A lot of that has to do with the personnel. I mean, Isaiah Hodgins came in like week 13 and was all of a sudden their best wide receiver. Love him. That's nuts, by the way. The Vikings. He's a savage. For, for the Vikings, I am picking the Giants here. Um, but for the Vikings to win this game, I think they have to be good situationally. We know how bad their defense is. They're one of the worst pass defense in the league, if not the worst. But situationally this season, they haven't been terrible. In terms of third down defense, they're actually top 12 in the league. And in terms of red zone defense, they sit around 19th, 20th. Obviously not great, but a lot better improvement than ranked 31st against the pass in terms of yards per game. So I do think if they're able to lock up on third down and in the red zone, that gives them a great chance. I just trust Brian Dable in this offense. He's been extremely creative all year. You saw it start week one against the Tennessee Titans, going for two points, winning that game that really set the tone for the entire season. It's going to be a good game. It's going to be back and, fo- back and forth all game. I don't see any world where either team gets up by more than really a touchdown unless they get some weird pick six or something. I think the Giants win a close one, 27-26. Now, Tucker Hoffman, Super Chat, $19.99. Okay. Vikings are resilient. Tell me why they will make it out of the NFC hashtag skull. Now listen. The defensive line is a mismatch for the Vikings. There's no doubt. With that being said, Kirk Cousins is the most hit quarterback this season. He's been under pressure all year. The first matchup between the Giants and the Vikings Yo, look at the end of the game and be like, they won on a 61-yard field goal. But the Vikings were up in that game for most of the game. And situationally, I like them. You say that the uh, uh, 11 games that they've won and won scores, you know, they haven't lost one yet. You know, that does worry me because, you know, all good things must come to an end. And I definitely can see a scenario where we're here talking about, of course, You know, of course, the one loss is in the playoffs. It's so Vikings of them, right? Uh, And so Kirk Cousins of them. Just saying. (laughs) This disdain you have for Kirk Cousins. The team that was down, what, third to three against the Colts? The the same Daniel Jones, Tua guy. The Colts. No, I'm saying they were losing. They came Uh, back, but the fact that you're down in the first place (laughs) is a fucking joke. (laughs) I Listen. And if that happens to the Giants, it's no coming back. You talked about how... The Giants are the underdogs in this game. I I really don't think they are. I know that. I, I don't think they are. <laughs> what are you I talking think about? You look, you look at the Vikings record. You look oh, at the man, Vegas odds. And, and it's like, oh, the Vikings are minus three. But guess what? Everybody that's betting this weekend is looking at that Vikings and Giants game like, you know, I'm taking the Giants. Is everybody Say not no taking the Giants? No that means that they are not the favorites. Because – I feel like everybody's taking the Giants. And Which guess terrifies what? terrifies me. <laughs> I think that they're in the Vikings locker room. You see how they celebrate after the game. Kirk Yo chains in the locker room, how they talk about one another. They have a special bond in that locker room. I'm nothing. I'm vanilla. You don't think that they understand that the entire football world is writing this team off right now? They're frauds. They're not legit. Oh, all, oh, the Giants are going to come into Minnesota and beat this team. Listen, I think the Vikings are hearing that. This is an afternoon game. It's not a primetime game. What is Kirk Cousins in the afternoon? He's a noon nightmare. And Kirk <laughs> Cousins, nightmare. I think, and the Vikings team, I believe, are listening to all the outside noise of people doubting them that they can't even advance past the wild card and are taking that as disrespect. I think the Vikings win this game. It will be close. I got 28 to 24. You made us go for a reason. You I got go I reason. got the Vikings winning this game. You thought we were going to pick the Vikings? You genuinely thought we were going to pick the Vikings? I knew you were going to pick the Giants. I knew you were going to pick the Giants. 
Come I knew on, what man. you were going to do. I know what he was going to do. I had a feeling he was in towards Giants. He's not a Kirk Cousins fan. He's a ball He's knower. not. He's a ball knower. I think he's just fine. I, mean, I Kirk, do think Kirk the pressure, Cousins. doesn't it feel like the pressure's on Minnesota this game? The it's Giants all have, on them. The Giants have overachieved this They've year. There, there's no, no reason for them to there be is in this position. Most of the pressure's on Minnesota because they're a 13 win team. Of it there's is. no doubt. But I think that Minnesota is also saying everybody's picking against us. And you know what? That's the type of motivation you need to go out there and kick somebody's ass. And I think the Giants, listen, the first matchup, you, you, you said that Daniel Jones had seven big time throws on the season. I think two of them were against the were against the Vikings. Two, been, two yeah. of them were, I mean, guys were wide open. The Vikings, there's this weird f- belief I have in them that their secondary will show up. I, I just feel it. Really? Like, First time all year. I think game, so. Game 19. The thing about the Vikings is that they give up these plays, but there's times when they, they really lock in, they lock up situations. You must not know who Daniel And there's Jones nobody is. on the Viking, on, on the Giants that scares you as a receiving threat. You don't know about Isaiah Daniel Hopkins. Jones had 300-plus yards. He did it like twice all season, one of them against the Vikings. So I know. I, listen, the Vikings secondary is You're going to learn about Isaiah Hodges. You're going to learn about bad. Richie James. You're going <laughs> to learn. My boom fantasy matchup for this game. Boom, boom. I got Saquon Barkley over plus two rushing yards against Davin Cook. Okay. That's what I have for today. Oh, it's a matchup? He's getting plus two, yeah. yeah. I'm cool with that. I went with Saquon's over on rushing attempts. I am a sucker for rush attempts. That's where I make a lot. 17 and a half? 17 and a half. That is the crib. I guarantee he'll hit that. Duke Shelley's been really fine this year. Um, Pat, Patrick Peterson has moments. Duke Shelley has, yeah. Ball, ball Rem- remember, ball. remember when Zadarius Smith Actually was dominant in the first half of the year? Remember when he was doing his thing? Yeah. Uh, Forget that Andrew Thomas exists. No, my he, brother. No, he's. I'm just talking, I'm just they talking were about getting the, pressure on him in the last matchup too. Remember, uh, remember that game where they were running a bracket coverage on Jettas and he still got the ball. Yeah. Means Jettas. Je- yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. what we see. Thor Jackson's back though. Doesn't move yes. me. Who knows? Um, take away Jettas, it's over. Do. It's gonna be like a triple coverage for sure. Yeah. McKinney it, and you know it it, it, it must suck being a home team and winning thirteen games and people are still not picking you in a playoff game. It must be extremely wild. You know them having a minus three point differential all year is kind of sick. But if you look at their losses with the Vikings, they pretty much lost to for the most part all good teams. You know Eagles, me. Cowboys. You know they they they've getting blown out, but they they've lost to pretty much teams we know are definitively that Eagles than was them. a. Yeah, the Cowboys game wasn't no, no it wasn't no, any no. better. But um, in terms of the Vikings and the Giants, for me, the Giants, it's going to be a tough game. Daniel Jones, he's been fine all year. He's been a really good quarterback all year. So Saquon Barkley, he looks like he's back to human form. He's been great all year. Um, just for me, the guy like in the playoffs, what what wins you games, right? Superstars, what wins you games? The guys, you need those type of superstar guys to perform. Agreed. And. The Vikings have the one. The Vikings have the best one on the offensive field, and it's Justin just, Justin Jefferson. You know, and Kirk, respect, Kirk Cousins has loved Jettas. He's saved them on countless occasions this year, and I think this is going to be the game where he saves them again. You know, I think the Vikings will come in offensively when they are on their shit. There is no team that can stop them. They get in their groove, and they get going defensively. I know they're streaky at times, but like I said, Duke Shelley has been really good this year. Patrick Peterson has his moments. Zadarius it's Smith had a rejuvenated shown, season. Zadarius no Smith has shown he he can still be at an elite level. So if they can just crack down for one fucking game, just one game, which is a lot to ask from them, but if they can just crack down for one game defensively, I don't think the Giants can fuck with them because offensively they're going to score. <laughs> I truly believe John, that. What do you mean Giants can't fuck with them? If they, what are you if, talking if, if about? Both, if the offense and the no, defense. If you say not roster, been watching, yeah, talent, 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 no, talent, yeah, talent yes, wise, yes, yes, yes. Just tell me you haven't been watching the New York football Giants. Offensive, just tell me. Offensively, the Vikings are going to score. We know that. Jettis is going to come in. By the way, boom, fantasy, seven receptions. Pump Great. that shit over because he's <laughs> going to have about 12, The last time he took that was the Packers game where he had one? No, I think the uh, last uh, time I uh, took uh, that. No, the Packers was over 100 oh, that yards, was, right? That was this. Yeah, you tried to throw the joke. It didn't work. Cause <laughs> I, was, I, I, was, I was curious. Well, you guys did have the bet with the Jets and Jettas, and yeah, he only had 45 yards, right? Sauce grabs a lot. Oh, for sure. Yeah, oh, no. Sauce holds. Yeah, he holds a lot. You know, Never it, it had to be him. I got the Vikings. Though. I'm sticking with my guy. You know what I'm saying? Skull Nation. 
I'm sticking with the boys. I, I think I'm going to go 24-16. I think it'll still be a close game nonetheless. I think both teams are ready to play. I think the Giants are coming in with that chip on their soldier. But I do think the Vikings have something to say. That locker room knows everybody's not picking them to win. That locker room knows Vegas, even though they gave them the minus three, people are still down in this team. That locker room knows that nobody's taking them serious as a 13-4 and four team. And that feeds them. And Kirk Cousins has to come to play. Jettis has to come to play. You see how he took the braids out and shit. It's, it's up for them now. Did he even feel that? Yeah, no, I peep everything because I have them on my notifications. You have his post notifications on? I do. On? I have yeah, when you finish on. talking, I want to see the pick. The pick of his... Of him, the hair. Oh, I got you. Good looks. Yeah. When you finish talking? I'm finished talking. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Just, I'll uh, show you the listen, pick Listen, right with now. all due respect, you just said a lot of cute things. Respect the 13 and 4 Vikings? Oh, man. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm not going to. I'm going with the New York football they're Giants. They're the most fraudulent 13 and 14 I think I've ever seen. Comedy for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're up there with the Steelers from a couple of years ago. That's what about like, the Titans? 0 6? What does that have to do with the fucking Vikings? Comedy that you call somebody Come fraudulent. On, you know what? Listen, bro. I'm here for... Were the Jets <laughs> fucking 13 and 4 going? I'm here for... His hair is out. It's up for you. I can't see this guy. Swipe, swipe. Ah, uh, nice. Oh, and it's, and it's color. You see how colory it is? Oh, shit. It's red. I didn't know that. Oh, shit. Why, why is it red? Everything Neither. changes now. What's this shirt? Just kidding. He's on a shirt. He looks like a Lions player. That's Damar. Shout out to Damar. Oh, that was oh, tough. Him. Shout out to him. Just look at... He the swag. Come on. No, he's no way amazing. Now listen, I you trade him oh, to the I mean, listen, I, if you have the Giants winning, I, have I don't have any gripe with that. I think it's going to be a very close game. Absolutely, absolutely. But I have a gripe with you thinking Daniel Jones is this all-time <laughs> franchise quarterback. Like, that's ridiculous. No, I'm glad you feel that way. All right. Thanks. Stay on that side. <laughs> Stay on Daniel that Jones, side. He's been solid, man. Because when DeAndre not... Hopkins comes to New York and Daniel Jones has an alpha, now we can There's actually have world. conversations. There's a world. Is he... Um, Ever going to be more than the third best quarterback in the NFC East? It'll be tough. He could definitely be better than your guys over there. Who's my guys over there? I'm not going to say anything else. Are you talking about... Take it as you will. He could be better than Dak or Hurts? Take it as you will. What the fuck? (laughs) What are you talking about? Daniel Jones. He can be better than who? Hurts? Those guys over there. (laughs) Dak? uh, Listen, I ain't ain't a big Dak guy, but Hurts, I don't know. Oof, man. Drew just loves... Fuck Dak. Drew loves under the radar quarterbacks that get disrespected. Because I don't get it. for Mitch Trubisky a lot. He's the poor man's Josh Allen. He really is. Who? Daniel Jones. What the fuck is he's that? been saying this for years? Honestly, like <laughs> it's a surprise. It's coming to fruition. Maybe like never doubt yourself. Low, low, poor, like homeless, bum, bum, like no, really, really bad. <laughs> like Josh Allen, <laughs> that's just nuts, bro. <laughs> like that one. Okay, I hate this, you for being that funny. One, yeah, that one was nuts. No, it's not nuts. No, it if is. you really think about it, I Josh Allen. They could have similar play styles, but you could. Not, exactly, you don't have to describe them in the same. That's what you sentence. have to understand. Yeah, but it's like really. Well, what like, do you when you say Daniel Jones is the poor version of this top three quarterback in the NFL? People are gonna. If you just say they have similar play styles, I don't think they're that's getting ex- pushed. That's what poor man's means. I no, know, but it's but like he's the poor man would be like a top. 15 quarterback. That's not what it means. So, no, Brock Osweiler is a poor man's version of who? Brock Osweiler. <laughs> He's he a just, poor man's version Hey, it's version not about of, skill level. It's about starter. play style. Who's the guy that is sucks tall as fuck? Just Here's the, the move difference. Move Daniel Brewer, Jones is, is nice. <laughs> poor man's version so, of so Josh yeah, Allen is go. like Amazon and Daniel Jones is like what? No one uses UPS anymore. I mean, I bet that's a lie. But I, I still use know. it a lot. Yeah, yeah. Still you, this shit's still, still going to UPS. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, all right. So what, he's it's definitely a tough not comparison. UPS. Yeah, no. So what? No, what if if Josh Allen is Walmart, then Daniel Jones is like a corner Mark. store. A corner, oh. a corner store. Yeah, oh, here we go. Store. Here we go. Josh Allen's Whole Foods, and and um, Daniel Jones is Kmart. I don't know. Kmart. Perfect. Josh Allen is um, the NBA, and Daniel Jones is a Canadian league. Thank <laughs> you.